to Lesson 74. This is converting units of length. Now, there's many different units of length that you already know, such as that 12 inches is 1 foot and 3 feet equals 1 yard. Many of you already know that. And I want you to go ahead and copy this entire table. You do already know some of them, but this will be very great to have in your notes. So... We have 12 inches is 1 foot, 3 feet is 1 yard, it takes 5,280 feet to equal 1 mile, and 1,760 yards to equal 1 mile. These are going to be very helpful to have when doing the practice set problems and even when we get to in-class work. We also have a metric system. So this is a U.S. customary system, meaning this is all the measurements that we use just in the U.S. Nobody else uses them. The U.S. just likes to be different, pretty much. And we have the metric system, which the whole rest of the world has. And it's almost, e it's pretty much easier because you have conversions, units of, or multiples of 10. So just 10 millimeters equals one centimeter. We already know that. 1,000 millimeters are in one meter, like our meter stick that we have in class. We have 100 centimeters is one meter. And 1,000 meters, this one we haven't talked about, 1,000 meters equals one kilometer. So whenever you see maybe in your car and you have kilometers per hour, kilometers and miles are usually given with speed. When we travel in miles in the U.S. and everywhere else, you're measuring in kilometers. And so 1,000 meters, like our meter stick, 1,000 of those equals one kilometer. And then this one is also probably a little um, important to understand is that one meter is about three inches longer than a yard. So we don't have any conversions between the U.S. customary system and the metric system, but one meter is three inches longer than a yard. So that's the best um, conversion in between the metric system and U.S. customary system that we can give. So for example one, we have the star basketball player is 197 centimeters tall. How many meters tall is the star player? Now we do know that 197 centimeters is close to 200 centimeters. And on this one we're actually going to estimate even though some of you could probably get the exact answer. So we have between centimeters and meters, right here, 100 centimeters is one meter. So we know he's more than one meter tall, and he's almost 200. So he's almost two meters tall. That would be the answer. So we will say about two, and then M is meters, about two meters tall. And the exact measurement would actually be one and 97 hundredths of a meter is the exact measurement of what he is. So for example two, we have two yards is the same length as how many inches. So what we want to do with our conversion tables, we want to look at yards and inches. But we don't have them right next to each other, but we do know that 12 inches is in one foot, and if we have three feet, how many inches would that be? That would be 36, 36 inches in three feet. So if I have two yards, I'm going to kind of draw a picture because this will be pretty helpful. I'm going to draw this as one yard and this as two yards. We'll just pretend the gaps in between. This is one yard and this is another yard. So two yards all together, that's what I'm measuring. Well, I want to figure out how many inches are in between. Well, I already told you that there's 36 inches in one yard because there's 36 inches and three feet. That would be 12 times three. That's how I found that. So we have 36 inches here and we have 36 inches here. So this is why drawing a picture helps because now I know I'm gonna have to add these two together in order to get how many total I, inches I have in two yards. So 36 plus 36 That's 12, and that's 7, so we have 72 inches in 2 yards. So drawing pictures, I promise, will help most of the time. It doesn't matter. I didn't even measure a yard. It doesn't matter how long I make this, how short I make this, but I'm writing to show that this is 1 yard, this is 1 yard. That way I can break down and see, okay, how many inches do I have in just this part? Start there. Then how many inches I have here also, and I can combine them. So you can do that on almost any problem. 
So practice set problems that you're going to do. This one might be a little tough, but many of you might be able to get it. I'll give you a little hint. How many yards are in one-fourth of a mile? So how many yards do we have in one mile? Oh, that would be right here. 1,760. That's how many yards we have in one mile. So I want a fourth of it. I'm going to want a fourth of a mile, so I want a fourth of this number right here. So that should tell you what kind of problem that you need to do. I want one-fourth of this. That will give you the answer for here. And then for B, this one should be very simple. 50 millimeters is how many centimeters? And we've already done problems like that in class. And you have your units of conversion for the metric system right here. So thank you very much for listening. We'll be doing more of these practice problems with units of conversion in class. And I'll also provide a little table for you um, to help with our work in class. Thank you very much.